Hey guys, Drifter here, just announcing the winner of the Roxio game capture card that I gave away recently, and that was Random Person 265 or Esteban out in California. His winning video was a very cool uh, live action short film that him and his friends, they got some airsoft guns, they went out in the country, they filmed this sort of historical battle scene with sniping and machine guns and pooping and grenades and all sorts of cool stuff. It had some audio problems with it that kind of knocked it down a little bit. It was going to be the clear winner, like the obviously this person won, but it really did have some audio Video problem, so it was a very close winner. I would like to mention my top five, uh, I keep my hand in the right place, the uh, other top five honorable mentions, some other very good videos. The first one I'd like to talk about is called Behind the Microphone. Now there are links to all of these in the description, and there's also going to be links popping up on the screen over in this general area. I can't upload these videos to my channel because I didn't make them, and that would violate copyrights, and it would be kind of ripping these people off. They should use some love, they could, could use some love and attention on their channel. Now Behind the Microphone was a really cool idea from a Twitter follower named Corey Pham. I think his uh, YouTube channel is like Passive Carrot or something. That's one of the names that I keep recurring because I try and remember your names as good as possible. Uh, his was a really cool idea. It was like a toddler playing Call of Duty and it mixed up live action and gameplay and voice work. And he did play by the copyright music rules, which was really cool. The second uh, honorable mention is a short film called Who Wants Cookies? It was actually similar to the video that won, but with uh, younger kids, the special effects weren't you know quite as good. It was very fun to watch. The dad showed up with this crazy hair talking about cookies in the middle of a firefight. And the most impressive thing about this is these people edited themselves. The people that won, it was like a whole team of people working together. The guy that made Who Wants Cookies was just one guy, which was pretty neat. The next video, uh, I don't remember the title, I think it was like Reply Drifter Roxio Game Capture, but it was just a very good vlog uh, by a guy named Obese Gramps. Now this was also one of the videos that I was thinking about picking for the winner, not because it was super creative, I asked for a creative video, but because it was a very good video. He essentially did a commentary with no capture card, with no nothing, he took the time to edit it to make it funny to add music for dramatic effect and he instantly managed to suck me into his vlog and have me pay attention to what he was saying so that was a very very good thing you should buy a capture card obese gramps i think that you could use one because with a capture card i think you would be deadly the next video is star wars battlefront 2 live action and this I thought was funny because it's kind of like some of my mistakes doing live action. He thought he was just going to go out and film like some live action Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront stuff because it would be easy. It would be kind of fun. It would be kind of silly. And once you actually get out there filming stuff live action, you realize how incredibly difficult it is. But he did have very good costumes. We had Jedi. We had uh, stormtroopers and fighter pilots. Had lots of cool Star Wars props. That, like Even later at night when the sun was setting, they were playing around with the lightsabers. It was pretty cool. So it was a cool video. Video, but it didn't quite get there to winter. And last and not but not least, we have a video submitted by Warfang Slayer, and I remember his name because it was him that set me up with Nero for the dual commentary. And he did a video called Day in the Life, where it was like uh, he filmed a day in his life playing games, uh, trying to be cute, like watching my videos and stuff like that, and interacting with his dad and his family. And it was a pretty well put together video, but it had some technical problems with the aspect ratios being a little bit wrong and things like that. Still a good video, but but the aspect ratio knocked it down a little bit. So the contest winner uh, made a very good video called Life in the Trenches, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, it's a live action uh, shoot 'em up The link is on the screen now and in the description. All the honorable mentions are in the description. I wanted to tell you guys it was a very fun contest. I'm glad I did it. I enjoyed it. I had, how would I say... Um probably about 450-ish total entries by that last day, maybe 425, something like that. Unfortunately, almost all of them were invalid. Uh, only about 60 or 70 of them actually followed the rules, and I was pretty lenient about the rules. I was really lenient about the copyrighted music, about uh, what to put in the description, how you send me the video, and things like that. If we wanted to go by people that followed all the rules exactly as I had them typed and discussed in the video, it would probably be about 30 to 40 videos out of that 400. The rest of them sent me like a, a ton of videos, like four, five, six, like this is a lottery, or stuff from three years ago, stuff not made for the contest, clearly copyrighted like Linkin Park montages of animes and, and things like that, but overall still very good, and I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. A lot of you said that you had fun making videos, you learned things making videos, and some of you learned that this isn't necessarily that easy, which was one of the other things I was going for. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I do have some more free crap floating around the house here somewhere. You can't have the dog. The dog over here, he's not for sale.
That's my gaming dog. You can't have him. And wife also not for sale or, or, or best offer, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later.